Welcome back to the movement five. Shake the head and wave the tail. You may ask, where is the tail? So the idea of this movement is really to strengthen your spinal, your spinal health. Is to think about the head, the neck, the whole spine, and the tailbone, the end of your spine, and all this middle part of your body, including your hips, are moving as one. So let's let me demonstrate the movement first. Last movement, the bird spreads wings. We stopped here, did we? Remember, everyone? Are we stopping here? Correct, on the right side. So now we're moving back. So this is the end of movement four. We bring small step. This is the demonstration of one side, each. Did you practice with me just now? Um, how you feel? This is not the easiest one from my students' feedback. However, it really has a very important health application, particularly about your spinal health. Think about your spine is moving together with your head, your neck, linking through the whole spine until your tailbone through the whole movement. At the same time, that gentle massage of your internal organs, your heart, your lungs, your liver, your stomach, your spleen, as well as your kidneys on the back. The gentle body weight transferring, you know, relax your shoulders. So what I will do now is I will explain a few other uh, Tai Chi principles through the moment. As I said, just take a small step at a time. If things become too much, as you have to remember so much at once, that's okay, just take it one at a time. How about deep breathing? Deep breathing to the abdomen. And how about just simply focus on your shoulders. Remember, shoulders should be Relaxed, and as long as you relax your shoulder, you allow your breath to go further down to wherever deeper for yourself. And how about if you just focus on the knee movement, body weight transfer, anything, anything that you find it's a good way to start, it's perfect. So let's start. We finish movement four here. Relax, give yourself a smile and gently taking small step, grounding the body, relax, sinking down. Imagine you're sitting on the edge of a chair and imagine that you bring a big rock, push away from your head. Back to the center, once again, grounding. Lean first, lean to the left. So you're still maintaining your center and control through your body weight on the left leg. Gently relax your neck, your, your face facing ground. Small turn, body weight transfer from left to the right leg and gently lift your head, truck follows and then 
turning your trunk back to center, grinding again. The whole time, this is really the center together with your trunk, with your waist. So now I'm doing the right side. On the right side, I won't talk too much. If you like, you can practice with me or just simply watching me. For you to get a little bit more idea about your trunk, I will turn my side and that way you can see how the head, the neck, the trunk until your tailbone and your hips are moving. And also a little bit about your knee movement, your knee movement as well. So remember when we have one knee bears the body weight, the other knee, the other leg has no weight on it, which means it's in the most relaxing state for that knee. So the knee relaxed, a knee getting that gentle, the, the resistance exercise, and then they interchange. They replace each other, the body weight transferring. See how you go with the side way. This is the movement five, I did the side way. So now I'm gonna to move my back facing you. See how you go with the back. This is a moment five. I hope the most important Tai Chi principle has been demonstrated in this move, which is the spawn, the trunk, the waist, they're working together. When you relax, they're working the best because the energy can flow to every single small particle, to the cells, to the bones, to the tendons, to the muscles and your organ also get really optimis, optimal space as well as a gentle massage through your own slow motion. I hope it helps with whatever you do and sometimes you just need to have that moment when you are absolutely within yourself. It doesn't have to be bent very low. It doesn't have to be bent very low. It's about you and your own discovery. 
and that's moment five. I hope you've been enjoying this, and I'll see you soon in the next moment, moment six.